The crew at Valley Co-op Oil Mill is working to scrape away about 500 tons of burned cotton seeds destroyed in a fire. It doesn't burn deep, it just flashes over the top. Dennis Easley, the cotton mill's plant manager, assures us the damage you see here is actually far less severe than what it seems when they consider the amount of seeds they manage in a year. This year we'll bring in about 200,000 tons of seed. So this is roughly 500 tons of it that got damaged. Not only were most of the seeds saved, damage to the structure was minimal. What we found this morning is that the structure itself is not damaged. It's some cosmetic structure where the tin on the outside will have to be replaced and some of the windows and all that, but the structure itself is minimal damage. The only thing declared a loss, the front end loader, which fire investigators say caused the blaze. The salvaged cotton seeds will be taken and processed as normal in just a few days. This is a, a rare thing for a tractor to short out and catch on fire, so I don't really know that we, that, you know, the seed's going to burn. There was no, you know, there was, there was nothing on our part that would have, that would have stopped this. It wasn't like a negligent situation that caused it. So, you know, we'll just monitor and continue to maintain our tractors on our at this hour, it's business as usual with the main goal of getting the undamaged cotton seeds processed.